Hey guys, Hi we guys. we are making hand sanitizing spray today. And I've been making this for like many years, like long before this wretched year came into existence. So um, I want to tell you guys a couple of pointers. So it's really, really easy to make your own um, hand, hand sanitizer. So it's alcohol, um, rubbing alcohol and aloe vera gel. The thing, hop down there so you don't fall over here. The thing I want to tell you about the aloe though, is you have to make sure you get actual aloe vera gel. Not like, the stuff you get at like the drugstore or the grocery store usually is like a very little percent that's actually aloe vera gel. This one is pure 99% aloe vera gel and that's what you want. Of course if you have an aloe plant you can use that too, but my aloe plant leaves are so like small that I just can't use it. That's what I used last time. But I'm out and I need to make more. So. This is all you do. Um, it's one third a cup of the gel. I'm making a hand sanitizing spray. So you can see that this is like really is just like aloe. It's just like you take a leaf and, and crack it open. That's what this is. It's just the gel from inside the aloe leaf. So it's one third a cup of the gel, aloe vera gel, whoops. And two thirds a cup of rubbing alcohol. Oh shoot, it's not open. <laughs> You could also use um, vodka or um, witch hazel even I've used sometimes. Or sometimes I just add that in as a little extra. One third of the aloe vera gel, two thirds of the alcohol. And then I like to add a little bit of my, um, this on guard stuff it's called. It has a really um, cinnamony scent to it and it's like, I'm trying to see what else is in it. <laughs> okay, it's got wild orange peel, clove bud, cinnamon leaf, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus leaf, rosemary leaf. And it smells really, really nice. Now the best part about this spray is that it's not going to dry out your hands. It's actually like, hi guys, um, it's actually like more soothing for your hands. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Between 10 and 15 drops of, you know, if you're going to use an essential oil of some sort, um, the On Guard, that's what this one is called and it's from doTERRA. I know Young Living also has some similar kinds. And then you just kind of whisk it together and you can see that it's like really liquidy. So that's why it works so well with the spray. And then I have these little bottles that I got on Amazon. This is what I use for all my different kinds of blends that I make. And this one is, they're, they're two ounce bottles. I've also made, here mix this for a minute. Just kind of very gently do like that. I have also made them in the smaller bottle and I put a little label on it so I know, know which it is because I make, you know, different kinds of sprays. So this is the one ounce, this is the two ounce, and today we're making the two ounce. So there you go. And the reason this thing is great to do it is because it, it kind of, it bends so it doesn't, it's not going to spill all over. So hi Annalisa. Yes, On Guard, it smells so nice, doesn't it? So I'm just mixing, this, whisking this up really well. We're making hand sanitizer spray for anyone who's watching, just joining in right now. And then you simply fill up your bottle. And, okay, hold on, grab it there. Hold on, hold on. Okay, oh, it, it fell, I didn't stop it. I kind of just filled it right up to the top. I don't know how well you can see. Throw your lid on, put a label on it if you want, and here you have some nice, beautiful, hand sanitizing spray that's not going to dry out your hands even though there's two-thirds a cup of rubbing alcohol in it. It's really nice because the aloe helps you know soothe and um, smooth your hands and it doesn't leave any kind of nasty sticky feel you know sometimes you get you get like sanitizers at stores or whatever and it leaves like a nasty sticky feel on your hands so this doesn't do that either so anyway hand sanitizing spray I hope this helped you guys and I mean, if anybody local needs some, let me know because I'm making like uh, quite a few bottles here. Okay. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.